Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and this is tutorial number 53. And in this tutorial we are going to take a look at uh, how to make data persist in our form. Okay, so what I've got over here is two text boxes and one submit button. So if uh, we go over to Firefox and take a look at that, um, then you can see it's just two text boxes, one for the first name, one for the last name, and a submit button to submit everything afterwards. Okay, and if you guys don't know what I mean by making data persist, then um, you guys will know from my form validation tutorial uh, or that short series on uh, simple form validation that uh, whenever the user tried to fill something in and we gave an error then they'd have to refill the entire form again because let's say I filled in Quinton but I forgot to fill in last name and I click submit and we gave the user an error hey you didn't fill in your last name well now first name's gone as well so they have to refill their first name in again and then their surname and so on okay so uh, yeah we're just gonna uh, try and get rid of that um, so basically now whenever the user uh, falls in their first name and clicks submit we want that first name to stay there instead of disappear okay and to do that we're gonna go ahead and um, open up our PHP tags down here in our form so I'm gonna create some PHP tags right over here uh, PHP and I'm actually gonna end my PHP tags off down there okay so we've got all these elements in here looking um, rather funny at the moment but I actually want to echo them out so I'm gonna go here break down a line and type echo open up some double quotes and then I'm going to close off my double quotes down here and uh, end that off with a semicolon so uh, this could all be typed in one line that's probably how you're used to seeing an echo statement um, but it, it will work just fine uh, like this as well okay and just make sure that if you're using a double quote here that you're using single quotes in the rest of uh, your input elements uh, attributes otherwise you're gonna land up accidentally breaking out of your string okay but the cool thing about this is now that these elements will be uh, dynamic so we can uh, actually put in um, other values over here or other attributes over here depending on whether or not uh, some of our PHP code evaluates to true or false okay so uh, what I'm gonna do here in these PHP tags is check if the user has indeed entered in um, or yeah, entered in a name and then clicked submit okay so if they try and submit this form field blank then they're actually gonna have so um, yeah they're gonna actually ha gonna have uh, submitted these values so these values will be set so what we want to try found out is if those values are set or not okay so I'm gonna use an if statement here and I'm gonna say if open up my brackets my parentheses okay and my curly braces and uh, as my condition I'm gonna see I'm gonna use another uh, function called is set okay and this function will check if a value is set so quite a cool name right there very descriptive uh, is set and now we want to find out uh, if this first name has been set or if our last name has been set okay so if is set dollar underscore post first name uh, so brackets uh, nope those are square brackets there we go uh, first underscore name then we want to go ahead and create a variable over here called first underscore name and set that equal to dollar underscore post first name 
So control C, control V. Okay. So that's now checking if uh, first name has been set. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and grab whatever value was uh, set in first name and um, go ahead and actually put that in a variable. Okay. But if first name hasn't been set, we still want to create a blank value for first name. So let's go ahead and just say else. Uh, if first name hasn't been set, let's still create this first name variable, but give it a blank value. And the reason why I'm doing this is because over here in my input element for first name, I want to give this a value, okay? And that is an actual HTML attribute uh, which will determine uh, what is typed in here. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and throw in our variable. Okay, so in other words, if first name hasn't been set, then we're just going to give first name a blank value, which will mean that our form value w is blank uh, as long as this has no value. But as soon as we type in a value like Quinton, then that Quinton uh, value is going to be stored in our variable and printed out again. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and um, uh, let's just land on this page. Brand new and fresh, tutorial 53, just like that. Type in my name Quinton now and click submit. And as you can see, now that I've clicked submit, my name still stays there. So it's not going to disappear. Um, so we've successfully made our first name persist. Uh, now we need to go ahead and just do the same thing for our last name. Uh, so we can actually go ahead and just cheat and uh, copy paste because it's going to be quite similar. We just need to change all the references to first name um, or from first name to last name. So last name and over here as well uh, last name and again over here last name okay uh, so basically uh, now we're checking uh, for the last name in the same way that we checked for our first name and we want to also print this out in our last name input element just give that a value uh, make sure to use single quotes and not double quotes of dollar last underscore name. Okay, and let's go ahead and save that now. Uh, and we'll go ahead and type in the word what over here. That's my last name. Click submit. And as you can see, last name stays there or my, my surname what stays there whenever I click submit. So it's not disappearing. Okay, and that's pretty much it for making data persist, but uh, we haven't actually <laughs> validated the form, so we haven't actually checked if there was an empty field or not, and I think what we're going to do over the next tutorials, or next few tutorials, is put everything that we've learned together and make a much better way of validating our forms. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video here, but I hope I'll see you guys in the next video. So until then, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like, or share this video. It's really going to help my channel grow, and I'll see you guys next time.